Hey guys, Faisal here with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you a new app that Apple uh, launched with the fourth beta of iOS 8, and it's called Tips. And uh, really, it's an app that is um, meant to ease the transition into the new OS. Um, for people that have used iOS for a while, um, you'll probably remember that iOS 7 brought along quite a few changes. And um, for the end users, it was a little tough because there was no real way to transition from iOS 6 to iOS 7 uh, without actually just trying to figure everything out yourself. And, um, you know, if you've uh, been following along with us, you know, we have a bunch of guides on kind of easing that transition, but uh, Apple plans to incorporate this tips app to, to really help along um, everyone from uh, the new iOS users to older ones transitioning from iOS 7.1.2 to iOS 8. So um, when you first load up the beta, if you already have it, um, you'll get a notification uh, alerting you that there's a new tips app. It's also going to be right on the the front screen. Um, this is one of those apps that, uh, like a lot of the built-in Apple apps, is not removable, uh, at least uh, in the beta versions. Uh, so it's going to just sit on your home screen, but um, go ahead and tap tips and let's just jump right in. The first one is um, uh, is in regards to responding to notifications. You can see some animations here. So basically, when you get a message, you can swipe down and you can, um, you know, type out your message right from the notification and even send a uh, an audio uh, message back to the sender. Uh, the next one uh, relates to uh, your emails, and what you can do is you can set up notifications for uh, certain senders that uh, you'll, you'll receive instantly. Now this one seems a little less necessary to me, uh, especially if you check your emails a lot, you're always going to know when a new uh, notification comes in, but it's there regardless. Um, swiping again to the to the left. Uh, this one uh, is introducing the Hey Siri hot work functionality. Uh, we've covered this before. It was actually present through uh, the first beta of iOS 8. And basically, this allows you to use Hey Siri as a hot word uh, when your screen is on, or also when your device is plugged in and the screen is off. Uh, it's, it's similar to what Google's trying to do with Google now. Um, and if you use Siri, this will probably be pretty helpful in quickly calling up the uh, voice assistant. Uh, scrolling over again. Now, uh, this one, as you can see from the an animation, uh, is just kind of showing you how to send a, a spoken message within the Messages app. Uh, basically, you just hold the microphone down, and uh, we've already covered this. Um, this is, again, something that was around through the first beta version. Uh, going over one more time, um, this shows off the swipe gestures. Uh, again, uh, this is something that was around from the first beta. And, you know, this is something that uh, is probably going to be very helpful for new users as it's um, a little tricky to use. You know, if you swipe over too far, you're going to accidentally delete something. Um, so this is kind of an introduction to that. And then finally, uh, they're talking about the self uh, or the, the timer for the camera app. Uh, you know, this is somewhat puzzling that it was never introduced in previous versions, but you know, it's finally here. So, um, and, and the way that they refer to it is, is be in the shot. So set up a timer or, or rather frame your shot, set up a timer, and then you can jump in so you don't have to uh, miss out on being in the picture. Um, so that's pretty much it for now. Um, you know, they're saying that they will have new tips every week and, uh, you know, I assume this isn't going to go on forever, but, uh, this is kind of a, a cool way to, uh, get familiar with the new features of iOS 8 uh, since a lot has changed uh, from the previous version. So uh, if you're running the beta, check it out for yourself and let us know what you think. Uh, otherwise, just give us a line. What do you think of the new app? What do you think of the fact that uh, it's, uh, you know could be considered bloatware since you can't delete it? But uh, you know it's probably going to be helpful for a lot of new users. So uh, there you go. That's the Tips app. Um, make sure you like uh, this video comment uh, with, uh, with your thoughts below. Subscribe to our channel, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks.